about to say this is the first test, but I'm not going to test it for the first time on camera. So without further ado, check out my new toy. Uh, I've been working on a mobile camera rig for a long time. I want something I can put the iPhone on and uh, go put it in a spot and hit record and get a good spot without me actually physically being there. I've just got this crazy zip tied GoPro mount at the back and then this camera mount and I got the screen facing away from the tires so that I don't throw any you know rocks at it or nothing. I tried it on the front but there was too much weight on the front and not enough weight on the back it sort of spun out a lot but this seems to work really well. Let me record on here. All right I am recording. Let's go see what the dogs are doing. Drive this thing with one hand. We do, Nova. explain if you guys haven't seen it I have another previous video on this car it's the uh, GP toys s911 goes by a lot of names it's like the cheapest car on Amazon that's worth buying um, anyways it's highly modded I have giant tires on it I have giant springs in the front end but and now I got a camera mount on the rear your tail. so anyways um if you haven't seen my other video check it out it explains what this car is and where I got it and what mods I've done to it um, I want to be clear though I the footage is not great in while I'm moving I understand that I don't want any comments about that this is not a camera rig to go get chase footage this is a camera rig to go park and get a view point that you couldn't normally get the idea was to do it for the 425 desert off-road race but uh, I didn't have the the camera rig set up until this afternoon and I went out filming for the off-road race this morning. I'll go ahead and throw a couple of videos from the off-road race if you guys haven't seen it. Um, I'll add them at the end of this video. Just a couple. Anyways, I'm really happy with how this turned out. Uh, I'm looking forward to some creative and unique shots I can get with it, some different perspectives, and um, you know, stay tuned for some, some really cool footage. I'm going to try not to wreck this one. I've built this thing two or three times and I always wreck it and it breaks. The system I have now with the GoPro setup, with the GoPro mounts, they're a lot more sturdy than say a selfie stick camera mount. Um, so I'm pretty confident that this will last me a little bit. I'm going to try not to drive the car just to go thrash it. It's going to be strictly a filming rig. Um, and I want to let you know that this car cost me a total of maybe 
everything I have into it, maybe a hundred bucks, maybe a hundred bucks at the most. The camera mount that I just made came with a, a GoPro that I bought. So it's all free, just camera mount attachments, no big deal. Uh, and then the cell phone is an iPhone 6. Um, I have an iPhone 10, of course, but my 6, I use it to, if I have to put it in like a, you know, a dangerous situation. If I got like uh, horses galloping at me or quads driving at me or race trucks driving at me, I don't want to put my 10 down there in harm's way, so I put my 6 down there. Um, anyways, again, I'm really happy about how this turned out. Um, I have another car, bigger one, and maybe I'll do the same thing too, if I can find enough attachments to make another mount. Um, but this whole series is about you know the crazy stuff you can do to your cars. Use them for different things, get creative, um, you know, have fun with it. And uh, I've been ending all my videos with keep modding, so you know, keep modding. Thank you guys for watching. The couple of views I've gotten, it's a new channel, I understand that, but if you happen to be watching, please subscribe and uh, you know, look forward to more videos. Right, Belvin? He has his own channel too. It's called A Dog's Life. I haven't worked on it much, but I will. Anyways, uh, have fun guys and keep modding.